In this episode, I will show you how I draw and paint this baby elephant. I'm Christina. I'm an artist and teacher, and I live in two different worlds. One in Sweden, in a gorgeous location where I work as a bridge master, opening a bridge for sailing boats and motorboats. But most important is the other world, in West Africa, where I live in a beautiful tropical garden with lots of jungle, monkeys, lizards and beautiful birds of all sizes. Every morning I get to enjoy the wildlife around me while having my breakfast or just a cup of tea in the company of my wonderful dogs that always stay by my side. When I enter my house, I come straight into my art studio. This is where I paint, draw, film and sometimes host art classes for small groups. In my videos you get to see a bit of my life, my artistic journey, how I paint, draw, some tips and tricks and thoughts about creativity. So sit back and enjoy and please subscribe to my channel. Hi, Christina here. I'm back with a new video. I'm, I'm not in the Gambia yet. I'm still working in Sweden. I'm on a new bridge, another bridge I could say, um, where I'm living in a tiny space. I'm not going to show you around this space, um, but I'm going to show you uh, some drawing and other things that I'm doing here. And this is the time of the year where I don't have a lot of space to bring out all my mixed media art supplies. So what I do is I take the opportunity to, to draw, to practice drawing. And uh, sometimes I also color my illustrations with pro markers and you know these pens. I've showed you many times before pro marker pens. They are alcohol based markers and they have two tips. They're very nice to use, I love to use them and I have so many different colors uh, in use and wow, yeah I don't know, 100 different I think. <laughs> but also I sometimes I make a drawing and I take a photo and I scan it into the computer and then I have a Wacom tablet and a mouse pen and with this I can actually paint digitally. And I use Photoshop to do this, and uh, so it's it. I, I would say that it takes kind of the same time to paint digitally uh, because I I really use use the mouse pen as a pen, and I pick I pick uh, different colors, and I work a lot in layers. So this is the uh, that would be the advantage of working in digitally in Photoshop is like you can work in many layers and if you do an error, if there's an error or something, you try something out maybe and uh, you feel like nah, I want another color or you try what, some, some kind of visual effect that yeah, you know like oh maybe that was not a good idea and then you can easily re erase it so if you're good at using Photoshop, it's a good way to paint and, and maybe I should make another, <laughs> I think I'm going to make another video where you can see me paint like that. But today uh, my plan is to draw a baby elephant and I'm going to do it like uh, in a children's art style. So you get to follow my thought process of how I think when I make these uh, small little um, characters. When I create my little animal characters, I usually start with the big forms. Here I'm drawing an arch-like form for the body and the legs together. And I make the legs quite short. And I make the head quite big and part of the shape. And this circle is just a drawing guide to make the trunk curl evenly.
I adjust my lines all the time and sometimes I need to erase excess lines. When I make a baby animal, I try to picture it like a stuffed toy. Short legs, the forms very round. I try not to have any sharp angles or details. I make the ear an oval instead of the normal ear shape. I think that fits the overall shape better. And I put the eye a bit low to make the forehead appear larger. This thing on his back will be hidden partly by the ear, but I like to draw the full form and then erase that part. And finally, I give him a little cute hat. So here is the finished drawing. Now time to paint. I chose a warm, dark, golden color for the body. And you can see that I use uh, both the thin tip and the wider tip to color him in. It can look a bit uneven and streaky, but the paper will absorb the paint and smooth it out a bit. Here I'm using the same color in a new layer around the contour to shade it and it becomes darker. Here is a cinnamon colored pen to enhance the shadow areas. I love to work with highlights and shadows to make things look more three-dimensional. I use an off-white pen to make the eye white less white and then I shade a little bit with a light blue. Today I'm going to make a banana chocolate chia pudding. So I take uh, first one banana. And then I pour in some oat milk and I take it a little bit at a time while I'm mixing. Um, the banana with the milk so maybe approximately two and a half deciliters of, of oat milk and here are the chia seeds so I'm taking two heaped uh, tablespoons of chia seeds and 
and then I mix that very well. It's very important to separate all the seeds. And here I have some cacao, and I take a heaped, real heaped tablespoon of cacao because I love the chocolate taste. I really like the dark chocolate taste, and I mix that really, really well. And then I put it into a glass container. I'm going to put it in the fridge and I'm going to let it sit for a few hours and it will get some kind of pudding uh, consistency. And I decided to draw the ground underneath him. And then I use a light lavender color. And some grass. And I decided to put a bright yellow sun above him in the sky. And here I'm using a very light blue, a powder blue or pastel blue, that I paint around his figure to kind of frame him into the picture. And here I'm putting some decorative dots just for fun and of course the dot in the eye to give some life to him. And here is the finished baby elephant. Time to enjoy my chia, chocolate chia pudding. Mm. It's a perfect uh, snack, uh, breakfast, evening meal, whatever. And chia seeds are very good for your stomach, your digestive tract. So it's mm, delicious. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.